Hey guys, welcome to another whiskey review. Today we are reviewing Smoke Wagon Bourbon Whiskey from Las Vegas, Nevada. So full disclosure, this is a sourced whiskey. Um, they do source it from MGP, which is very normal. Um, but what's interesting is they claim that they both age and bottle it in Las Vegas, Nevada. So there's definitely some aging going on in the middle of the desert out there. So I saw this one pop up at my local liquor store and it's kind of confusing. Um, so they've had a small batch brand of their smoke wagon for the longest time but the bottle is completely different um and that's usually about 50 bucks but i saw this one pop up and it was 25 dollars. so i thought at first it was a pricing error but then i noticed that this was labeled as a four year on the website um, and the weird thing is I can't find any information about it online. Quick little intercut here. Um, I just finished recording this video. Um, I noticed that there's nowhere on the bottle where it says small batch. Um, I was getting that off of the website that I ordered it from. It called it a small batch four-year-old. This actually just says straight bourbon whiskey. So I think this is definitely their new budget option. Like I said, it's just not out there on the website anywhere yet. So really hard to find info on this one, but I'm sure it'll come out over the next couple of months. I just wanted to review it for you guys and let you know what I think. So this is a high rye mash bill. It's 36% rye. Um, they, I think they use the same mash bill across their different releases. So on the nose, this is... I hate to say it, but classic bourbon. I, I don't like when a lot of channels say things are classic bourbon, but when you're dealing with a $25 whiskey, you don't really expect much other than that. Um, when it is more than that, it's definitely like an outlier and in a good way usually, sometimes a bad way, but mostly a good way. It smells pretty good for a four-year-old. It doesn't smell that new like uh, a lot of these like craft distilleries do. It is very light on the nose though. There's not really much jumping out of the glass and again that's the lower proof it's 92.5 proof so you're not going to get some crazy um you know radiating scents coming off of it it's it's pretty standard and it kind of sticks inside the glass so let's go ahead and taste it and see if there's a little bit more to unravel here interesting so it tastes it definitely tastes older than four years old in the taste um and I think that probably does have to do with the fact that they're aging it in the middle of a desert. A lot of like a corn dustiness note that I do get on a lot of these like rapid aged whiskeys. Like I'm talking about like Texas whiskeys that like the aging is so intense. I do get something very similar to that, but it doesn't have that Texas whiskey taste. Um, if you've had Texas whiskey, you probably know what I'm talking about. But there's like a very specific taste that's a te Texas whiskey taste. Um, this just tastes, just overall, it's just like a good classic bourbon. There's nothing that's, you know stand out ish about it um again that's not really a bad thing because it's a 25 five dollar whiskey but you know certain brands have certain things that like stand out like jim beam it's a lot of nuttiness um heaven hill it's like that desserty quality this kind of is a blend of the both there's not really that nuttiness that i get from a lot of um you know younger bourbons but it's really pleasant on the on the taste i mean this is very very drinkable the finish is you know it's, it's pretty short um you're not going to get that long of a finish with something so low proof, although I have had some that are this proof or lower that the finish has been really great on. I would be curious to try more from the brand. I'm not going to judge the whole brand off of this bottle. If you are from Las Vegas or you're ever out in the area, give it a try, especially if you can visit their distillery and try their other releases because they have some really cool stuff going on there. Um, I do give this a recommend. I don't think you should like seek it out, um, but if you see it on the shelf for a decent price and you're curious, definitely give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, like I said, I don't, I hear a lot about this brand, but I don't know much about it. So if you like this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe. I go live on Thursday night. So I'd love to hang out with you guys and drink some whiskey with y'all and just have a good time. So until next time, I'm here to help you drink good whiskey. Bye.